thank you for being here. Appreciate everyone being here and, and listening to this session. My name is Claudia Contreras. I am Executive Director, Global Sustainability Services. And great to be here as well. I'm, I'm Tom Harris. I'm a partner at Deloitte. Um, I lead our work uh, on sustainability technology and data, as you can probably tell from my accent, based in the UK. Yes, so the next few minutes, we're going to spend some time talking to you about what our position is and how we are leveraging AI towards our path towards sustainability. Um, I'm going to start with just a quick little piece of information here. Um, but even before I do that, I think you all heard keynotes. There was a common thread in the keynotes. They were all talking AI and how we're leveraging AI to drive our business forward and there was sustainability embedded in each one of those um, individual sessions. All business units, all leaders mentioned the importance of sustainability threaded into the core of our business. Now, that's not surprising. If we think about so many commitments that are out there and, and the role that this is playing within our overall organizations, you know, that this, is, this is one thing that, again, not surprising, but then it's driving the behaviors that we're expecting. We conducted a survey not too long ago where we asked CIOs, and all of them agreed that their role had changed. The role meaning that they were tasked on making decisions that went well beyond just the technology or the functionality of that technology. And again, not surprising. If you think of ESG matters and how climate action and sustainability is driving behaviors, it's driving behaviors from what you consume, where investors are making or putting their, their investments, and also how you attract and retain top talent. These are all highly influential, so it's not, again, not a surprise that sustainability is weighing and it's bubbling up to the top of that list. 9% of CEOs consider sustainability among some of their top priorities. So if you think about it, there's very bold, very public commitments that are being made around sustainability from organizations across all industries. You're hearing net zero, cutting scope three greenhouse gas emissions, um, being able to go plastic free, circularity, modularity, all of these things are being tied to the brand reputation of the organizations that are making these commitments. And when you tie brand reputation and you're considering the success of those organizations meeting those commitments, that's a game changer. Because now it's not just about the financial results, it's about the results towards their own sustainability path. And again, that will drive and it'll mold the way our business reacts and what we're doing with it. 86% see sustainability as an investment that protects their organization. So again, making commitments, making good on those commitments is critically important. Now, the interesting piece is that less than half actually know what their IT carbon footprint is. It's a bit surprising. If you don't know where you're starting, how will you know that you're taking the right steps to get you where you want to be? And that's where part of the work that we've been doing together with Deloitte um, comes into play. Any part of your business, for any business decisions, you rely on data, intelligent data to guide you to what the right path is or anything you're doing to be successful within your, your organization. And sustainability strategies are no exception to that. What we are seeing is that not only is it complex to be able to measure sustainable outcomes without having expertise involved, hence why we're, we're here today, but there's also a lot of opportunity for us to drive our business forward to a place where we are much more robust, more resilient, and we are meeting the expectations that not only our business demands from us, but our planet does as well. So in that context, I'd like to hand it over to Tom to tell us a bit about what we're doing and how we're leveraging expertise from partners like Deloitte in order to take us down this path. Thank you, Claudia. And I think just, just firstly, to build on one or two of the points that Claudia made, 
I think what we're seeing when we work with our with our clients and our partners is this exponential growth in demand for sustainability information that in part driven by regulatory standards but also the, the trickle down effect to supply chains the 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 level of net zero targets that are being set by companies and the in the the effect that imposes on on their suppliers and an IT suppliers um, prominent around that we're also seeing a shift towards um, product level information again driven by movements for example in the European Union around uh, around product passports by way of by way of example but ultimately for me it's a shift towards having meaningful and robust information and data that supports decision making to make the change that we're all looking to, to make. But that can be difficult. The, the data is inherently complex. Often it's dispersed across supply chains. The standards around it are not always um, clear cut, which creates traceability issues. And quite often this information is held, quite ma held and managed quite manually today. There isn't a, a great deal of automation. And that the variety that comes with this information does make challenges. So, so hence the work we're the work we're doing really is about um, trying to bring some structure and order and and really intelligence to that to that that data. If we move on to how we're how we're doing that with with LISA, and uh, and really what we're trying to do with LISA is is create a solution that provides confident, informed, fact-based decisions for for IT leaders. Let me talk a little bit about how we're doing it and how it's working. So firstly, it's about personalizing the, 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 the understanding and the recommendation to a, to a given customer. So we're working to, to build an engine that, that helps to assimilate or simulate the, the customer's buying patterns and needs to understand their, their existing um, IT footprint and needs. Talks to some of the, the, the statistics that Claudia um, mentioned earlier. Alongside that, we're looking, at, we're looking at Lenovo's products, solutions and services, and we're working towards getting a robust understanding of the footprint of those, those products, the benefit of, of the service overlays on top, all of which is only, only possible with a, with, a, with a robust methodology that we're building aligned to standards from, from, from ISO, from against past 2050, and, and using some of the, 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 the best thinking from, from the sector. But let's be honest, some of this data is, is immature and complicated. So we are, we, are, we are really being transparent about the assumptions we're making, how the methodology works, the inherent um, sensitivities or, or certain, certainties and uncertainties with it, and really communicating that transparently. We're bringing that together then into a recommendation engine which seeks to provide a, a personalized and an impact-led recommendation to a, to a customer which really talks to the desire for IT leaders to really move and, and make a difference in greening their, their, IT, their IT estate. So you can really think about LISA as a, as a co-pilot for both sales teams and customers to, to really help inform the decision making um, that they, they have ahead of them. If I just perhaps on the, 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 then sort of summarize some of the, the, uh, the, the, key, points, the key points for that. So really, the way we thought about this is a, is a personalized approach. The, the, um, the analytics and the AI, AI we're using is really seeking to make that as personalized as we can. We are, we are looking to robustly and measure impact, but be, be transparent and authentic around that. That's really at the heart, of, at the heart of what we're doing here. But ultimately, it's about decision making and using data to inform those decisions to assist those, those big challenges that, that our, our collective customers have. And with that, I'll hand back over to, to Claudia. Yeah, and, and I'd like to go back to the decision making process. If we are able to help our customers measure the impact of the decisions that they can make, then we are giving them the tools that are needed to help them decarbonize. The decisions could be as simple as to say, can I use bulk packaging versus single pack? That would reduce my overall packaging material needs. Could I do ocean versus air freight? You know, and what is that carbon impact associated to it? 
It could also get into usage models. Are usage models right for me? And how can I leverage them to my advantage if my goals are inclined to something that requires decarbonizing my overall footprint in a very meaningful way? The point is, the information will lead us towards the path that is much more, that, that, is, that is more geared towards the right goal that each one of our customers might have. 86% of companies have a sustainability strategy. It's great. But only 35% of them have actually acted on it. It's a huge gap. And this is where we can play a role. Lenovo, we've been down this path for a very long time, and we continue down this path. Through these efforts and through the years that we have been focusing on it, we've developed networks, capabilities, partnerships, and we are learning as we go and investing to ensure that we can keep ourselves down that same path. Within that, it's not only what we can use internally for our own use, which is the reason why we may have built some of these things, but it can be replicated and it can be leveraged by our customers as well. And that's really what Sustainability Solutions is about, is how we leverage each other, how we collaborate, how we're able to use learnings, insights, and all of this infrastructure that we have now in benefit of our customer. Being able to measure the impact, being able to use those insights in order to take us down this path. There's a lot that we need to do. We still don't have it all figured out, but it's through partnerships, it's through collaboration, expertise, and insights that will really drive our business forward. We want to build an industry that we can be proud of, ensuring we're going down the path that is sustainable and we can all work on the same sort of efforts regardless of what industry and what area we're in. So I invite you to visit us at the booth. You can see some of our sustainability solutions. You can see Lisa in action. And I appreciate the time and, and hope you enjoy the, your day. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. All right, good deal.